This is a general collective message, so only take what applies and let the rest fly. Most importantly, be sure to watch responsibly and always vibe with your tribe. Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Fa'afitai telelava for being here today. Let's see what messages spirit has for you. You are now entering the divine headquarters. What's up fam, it's your big bro Joey. Um, I got a channel message for you guys today. It's, it's regarding an aunt figure, a feminine um, familial type energy. Um, I'm, I'm getting strongly an aunt for somebody here. Um, this aunt or this feminine, uh, feminine relative, okay, has issues with you that actually come from, that were passed down from issues that they had with your parent, your father, your mother, your father, but I'm getting strong feminine energies here. I'm getting that this person, this aunt or I'm just going to call it the aunt, right? For some of you guys, it could be a different um, family member or whatever, but I'm getting aunt um, specifically here. Uh, feels like your parent was the favorite in the family. Like your, they feel like your grandmother, your grandfather, or people that were older than you, got, than you guys treated her or him, your parent favorably, okay? Gave them prep, uh, preferential treatment. They feel like whether it's true or not, they feel like, they feel like uh, they feel like your parent had it easier than them. For some of them, I feel like I'm getting. They feel like your parent had it easier in life in general. They were more favored, and it it, it brewed up some animosity towards the parent, and they are continuing that animosity towards you. Hmm. I'm getting this this uh, aunt okay this aunt has been working against you ever since you were born because of the animosity and hatred they had towards your parent this is somebody who is very, very controlling, manipulative, manipulative. Yeah, I can't even speak as like they don't want me to, to even tell you this. Manipulative. They do not want to, they do not want you to hear this because this is somebody who's been doing this behind the scenes. They have not been, they might have done things, actions. Um, I just heard incoherently, but that's not the word that I, uh, that I was looking for. Uh, they might have done things covertly, okay? indirectly okay is what i was looking for they may have done may have been doing things indirectly towards you and not really directly making you wonder making you think like does this person really have an issue with me like why this person did what why did they do xyz and i'm getting that you could look back whoever this message is for you could look back on your life and you can see how funny this this on this person had was moving towards you okay if you have siblings they did it towards your siblings too they move funny towards you they treated other people treated their kids one way they treated your other uh you may you may have had cousins and stuff like that they treated all of them differently than they treated you you could tell like by their actions they singled you out because of some sort of grudge that they had for your parent, okay? It's not, it's nothing that you did, you feel me? Like nothing that you did to them. It's more so, like I said, the animosity that they had towards your parents and, they, and, they, and they, it carried, it's like you inherited, you inherited a grudge, okay? It's giving me generational curse vibe here as well. This aunt may have been playing with uh, black magic, with dark magic as well or sending you evil thoughts, evil eyeing you. I'm getting monitoring spirits. This person has been sending, this person has been having conversations about you behind your back, 
they not only been having it uh, about you, they've been having it, they may have been talking to their children about you as well, and your family. They may have been speaking with other family members, other siblings about you as well. If you don't have direct contact, because I'm getting like, this is somebody you may not have direct contact with, or you're not really close, close to them like that, to where they can make, they can pick up the phone and call you. For some of you, it may be that you can. I just saw 504 on the timer. Somebody here could be from New Orleans. Okay, don't necessarily have to be. Um, but I'm getting that this person, from time to time, they will ask people about you. They will ask about how are you doing, where you're working at. If you're married, you got a girlfriend, you got a boyfriend, you got kids, you got da, 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 like asking questions. And then they're asking those questions for a reason because they're evil eyeing what you have going for yourself. I'm even hearing that this, I just hear fake aunt, fake aunt. That's what I just heard. This fake aunt will even, even try to act like they were proud of you when you made a certain accomplishments, but it was actually jealousy. Okay, because out of competition, I'm getting that. I'm getting that because I'm looking at some messages in my um saying here. I'm getting that for some of you, this person has three kids. Okay, or there's three people that's involved. Either they either they got three kids, or there's three other energies that are involved. Okay, that were hyping this person up or working in tandem with this person or following behind this person because i see the person as somebody who's bigger than them right this person may have wanted to uh this person wants to lift their children higher than you okay so they want their they wanted their kids or they want their kids to be better than you to achieve more than you to have more advantages in life over over you I see there is distance in between you and that person, okay? This is somebody that you don't talk to on a regular basis. This is somebody who is, I'm seeing um, a coiled up snake, like ready to strike, all right? I'm seeing a coiled up snake that is ready to strike here, okay? And I see you jumping over, like flying, you flying, you moving forward. You you have like a wheel underneath you, like a chariot. You are in the chariot energy here. And um, with that wheel, I see that you moving forward and they see they see you moving forward. They see that you excelling. They see you pro progressing in some area of your life. OK, and they don't like this because they feel like you are doing better than them and their kids. OK. It's like it's a it's like it's an unspoken competition. You might not even realize this, but it's an unspoken competition that I see here. Some of you guys, you may have tried to move, okay, somewhere far away from your birthplace. This person was evil eyeing that. So if you had issues with you wanted with you relocating, you may have made plans about relocating, and you may have talked about these plans with people. And the information got back to this person, okay? So you have to be very, very careful. And this may have happened years ago. I don't know. For some of you guys, it may have happened a long time ago. But, or it may have been recent, more recently. But I see that um, you talked about these plans with somebody who went back and told that other person. They may not have done it out of spite or uh, out of being malicious. But they may have just been running their mouth. You know, sometimes like, quote, unquote, relatives. I was going to say family, but... <laughs> Family and relatives are two different things to me, you know, but like, you know how relatives will gossip amongst each other and they don't think anything of it. That's what I see here. So somebody may have innocently talked about some sort, even your own parent may have innocently talked about your own accomplishments to this person. And this person be immediately began evil eyeing what you had going on for yourself. Some of you guys, it may have caused delays in your plans. It may have caused hiccups in your plans. It may have caused your plans to fall through. Like they didn't, they, they didn't work out the way that you wanted them to work out. Okay. Because of this energy that is being sent. I see this person coiled up and ready to strike. Like they, they be on at the ready. They're at the ready, ready to strike. But you, I see you with some sort of 
wings on your back like you flying you got a wheel underneath you and you got wings you have a lot of protection that is around you right now and you are actually bigger than this person because you are being lifted over this snake of an aunt you being lifted up and above this person i'm seeing here okay i heard you i, I just heard you have an arsenal Okay, of protection that's around you. I don't know if you guys are, um, if you uh, communicate with your spirit team, you work with the ancestors, you got a lot of uh, angelic or galactic beings that are around you that are protecting you from this individual. This person does have an evil spirit that's working with them. There is there's some sort of prophecy that this person heard about when it comes to you or they are they intuitively feel this about you that you are going far in life you may have traveled the world you may have gone to different countries passport stamped up or you have that that the travel bug inside of you or something within you is telling you you need to go far or are you you are meant to travel to foreign lands meet foreign people Okay, make foreign connections, just see the world, see, see the world outside of the, your birthplace, see the world outside of what you are currently uh, in right now. And this person knows that and they have I mean, just her contempt towards you, jealousy towards you. But I see you are, it's like this wheel that you on, these wings that are on your back, you guys I see you looking like a rabbit kind of also too, because I see a rabbit and the rabbit is talking about quick moves, like you moving up the ladder rapidly, you feel me? And this person knows, like, it's like you're finally getting your chance and you are like, you have, you, you, you gaining some sort of momentum here to where you are hopping over the competition, hopping over the enemies, okay? And them not being able to stop you. This person thought they were going to work with them and they were going to work with their kids, their offspring to try to come up against you, but it's not working here because I see you hopping over them. Like B, get out the way. You feel me? Move B, get out the way. Y'all know, you know, you say B, you say the, on the whole thing, but yo, <laughs> they're trying to hide some sort of key from you. Okay. You got some sort of key. And they're trying to hide this key from you, okay? Key from you moving forward in life. Key from you. Uh, this, this is this is your birthright, is what I'm seeing here, okay? This is your birthright. Somebody here, you have the power of the tongue. You can speak things into existence. You can speak protection over you. I'm getting cowering. This person, you could tower over this person with your voice alone. You're very, very strong, okay? And you can fight back against this person. I'm seeing that some of you didn't even know that this person was working against you because they were doing it behind the scenes covertly, okay? They were doing it without your knowledge. Mm-hmm. This person plopped themselves in your path. It's like you were not even nowhere near this individual this person came to where you are whether they came physically or whether they came energetically if this person came into your house they left some sort of essence in your house y'all may need to clean your house as well spiritually cleanse your house cleanse your windows cleanse your the threshold okay every threshold in your house cleanse it and speak positive positivity and positive prayers over it Hold up, y'all. Let me. You're being pushed right now. You're being pushed. Some of y'all may be being a little stubborn, but you're being pushed. I'm getting the most high, right? Your spirit team, the universe is putting the battery in your back and that is propelling you forward. Somebody here, you about to make a slam dunk. Somebody here, you might like basketball or you might watch basketball, but you're about to make a slam dunk, okay? You're about to be successful in something that they wanted to take from you or something that they wanted to prevent you from having because uh, they know that if you get this certain success in your life, that you will, in their eyes, 
um, beat their children in this imaginary ass competition that they got going on with you. Some of, I'm getting some of y'all. A lot of y'all know who this is. Y'all know who this is already. And y'all have been preparing yourself for this person. I see some of y'all knocking, like knocking a competition out of the way, knocking uh, their kids out of the way. That they're like, it's like they're trying to, they, they're trying to like. <sighs> and I'm not trying to be funny here, but I, but what I'm getting here and what I'm seeing is like. They want to lift their kids up to be on your level. And they, they was never on your level like that. You, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot, like a lot of spiritual protection and stuff around you. They was never on your level. And I'm just going to call it how it is. It is what it is. They were never, their kids were never slated to have the same opportunities that you have because they are not you. It's like they want their kids to have what you have. They want their kids to, um, oh, I just heard somebody. They want their kids to have the beauty. Or the looks, the body, the hair texture, the skin tone, the eye color that you have. But that's not genetically possible for them. This is like some weirdness, bro. This is like some petty weirdness. I'm going to be better than you. I'm going to beat you. Yeah. This is weird. Hmm. Let me see what else. Let me see what else we got here. Hold up, y'all. Um, this person wanted your life to be difficult for you. Okay. They wanted your life to go through many different twists and turns. Okay. They wanted, you're still showing up bigger than them though. Right. You don't have just one pathway. You could go down. You got many different pathways you can go down. And that is this person, this person wanted to stop those pathways from happening to you or showing up for you. This person is smaller than you when it comes to the, in the spiritual realms and what they what they're doing and the power that they feel like they have over you. That this power is imaginary because they're not more powerful than you. You're standing taller than this individual. But they wanted to stand in your way and we see some sort of they wanted to have some sort of roadblock. It's giving me, I see like a hummingbird, right? It's like you quick on your toes. They try to spoil your plans. They try to um, thwart your mission, your goals, what you got going on. But it's like you too quick for them. There's something like you, you have access to divine information, uh, spiritual downloads and whatnot. And you know. You may not know, you may not have known who at the time, but some of y'all know exactly who the hell this person is. And you knew that there was something weird going on and you already did what you need to do. Your spiritual cleansing, you did your return to senders, you did your prayers, you did whatever you needed to do, whatever rituals you needed to do to, to, to get that shake, that energy off of you. This person is upset because I see chili pepper here. This person is upset mad at the fact that that you still growing you still you're still growing you are still moving moving ahead in life you're still progressing you got a strong energy of progress around you regardless of what this this uh <laughs> her wicked witch regardless wow what regardless of what this wicked witch try to have planned for you 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 are still moving forward here okay 
you're still moving forward. This person, your life, it looks like this person affected your life in, let me see, one, two, three, four phases. They affected your life at four different times in your life. Once when, when you were younger, you probably were like a, like around like two, three years old and whatnot. They did something. Okay. And then at another time, it was when you were like 15, 16, somewhere around that time, 15, 16, 17, 14, that age range, they did something else. The other time is when you were in your thirties. If some of y'all not even got thirties, it's, 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 it's uh, like 20, like from 20, 25, 30 is what I'm getting here. But the thing about it is the older, they, the older you get in this lifetime, when in you, the older your body gets, the more stronger you get. Okay. The more they're not able to see, they were able to, to block you easily when you were younger because you didn't know any better, right? You didn't know what you needed to know, but now they're not able to block you now. Because you know about spiritual warfare. You know how some people can try to come up against you. You know how you can't trust everybody. It doesn't matter if the person holds the title of a relative. People are people. Let's let's drop the labels. You feel me? Let's drop the labels and start uh, seeing people and accepting people for who the hell they are. And this person is an evil, wicked person that I'm getting here. Your arrow, your trajectory in life, you moving up, you moving a four, you moving ahead and up, you moving like this, right? You're not moving like this, like a lateral. No, you're going up and you're moving forward at the same time. It's like you're jumping, you're moving all like they're not blocking your way no more. Okay. They may try to block your way, but they're not blocking it anymore. I'm hearing your way is, and I'm seeing also your way is very, very clear here. Your way is very, very clear. It's very clear here. When it's all said and done, you're going to be sitting pretty. Enjoying yourself. Chilling, relaxing. Eating good food. All right, y'all, let's get some, um, let me get some cards here too. Let's look, look in the evil eye news and get a couple of cards. I have this deck prepared for another reading, but a love spell reading. We're going to talk about that in the next video, maybe. Cause I'm going to get, I got to get these messages out. So whoever needs to get them, what we, what we need to know about this situation here. What is this? Greed, see? Because this person is greedy. They covet your possessions or your achievements. Okay? And a lot of them, they're wanting it for their own kids. Or if they don't have kids, they're wanting it for themselves. It's some sort of family grudge that they're carrying on. Yeah. They drain your energy through their constant need for support. For some of y'all, this person may have asked you for things. Okay? I'm getting destiny swap energy here or trying to siphon off of your abundance. All right. You may have experienced some sort of unexplained fatigue from them trying to pull on your energy. Okay. This person is involved in dark rituals. All right. They may engage in dark rituals to summon entities to help them do their bidding. Some of these people are darker than you even realize. You, some of y'all don't even realize what these people is has, what these people are attached to, and what greed, what greed, okay, what their their love for money, for the love of money. That's that song just popped into my head. Let me let me check the lyrics. We got Taro Bomb on the bottom of the day. We're gonna read that in a second, but let me look at this for the love of money. Mm-hmm. That that song just popped into my head. 
let's look check the lyrics out here okay who sings this the OJs somebody just uh <laughs> Somebody said, I was like, you know this song by the OJs? I think it's like Happy Birthday or something. I was like, I don't know that song. Uh, some people got to have money, 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 money. Uh, some people got to have it. Some people really need it. Listen to me. Why, y'all? Do things, do things, do bad things with it. You want to do things, do things, do good things with it. Yeah, see, when you when you bless with money... You help just not only helping yourself, you help other people too. But this person, when they get money, they take the money and they don't help nobody but their own. Okay? It doesn't matter. It don't matter if you the nephew, the niece, or whatever. They don't care nothing about you. Mm -mm. For the love of money, people will steal from their mother. You see what I'm talking about here? Somebody, this person may have stolen inheritance from the mother, from y'all, from y'all grandmother or grandfather. Are, stole, are stolen from their own sister, brother, sibling or something that may have passed away here. Uh, for the love of money, they will rob their own brother. You see what I'm talking about here. For the love of money, people can't even walk the street because they know, they, they never know who in the world they're going to beat. For that lean, mean, mean, green, almighty dollar. People will lie, Lord, they will cheat. People don't care who they hurt or beat. People will sell their precious body. So I'm, I'm getting this person does anything for money. They will do anything for money. It doesn't, it don't matter who they run over, who they steal from. They're going to do it because of the money, okay? This person may have gotten a tarot card reading that showed them that their plans will not work. Okay, yes. They got a reading. They went to somebody. They went to some. They may have they may this person may be attached to some sort of practitioner, a dark practitioner who does spells for hire. Yeah. I just heard Etsy, an Etsy witch for somebody that does spells for work. They have hired someone to help them work against you. Okay? They went to somebody and this person. This person may have also given them a tarot reading and told them, look, a, hey, I think you might need to, you know, you might need to leave this person alone. It's not going to work against this person. OK, it's not going to work against them. Yo, you're just wasting your time. Chronic overwhelm. They want you to feel an ongoing sense of burden by emotions or obligations. Energy recall. Work on recalling your energy and taking back your power. You guys may have already been doing that, okay? Which is causing this person to be drained. They may have been uh, doing Santeria against you as well, okay? Or are they, the practitioner that they go to does Santeria. They may work with the Orishas like that, you know, to come up against you. Mm. But guess what? Guess what? Just like I said... Just like the cards predicted here also too, a tarot reading showed them. And I feel like this practitioner told them, look, 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 girl, look, girl, look, mama, look, papa. Because some of them could be, I'm talking about an aunt, but it could be a dude. Your uncle could be in feminine energy too. Whoever it is, but I'm calling it feminine because I picked up on feminine energy. They told him, look, look it's not going to work. You better leave this person alone. You better lay low. You better leave this person alone. Okay, look, see, they got witches, uh, uh, dark magic practitioners to come up against you, paying, paying their cold hard money to do it because they, they know you got something special coming for you. All right, this person feels they have been wrong by you, and they want to engage in petty conflict. They may have felt like your mother did something to them, did them something, but I, I'm hearing that your mother didn't do them nothing. This is a whole rival. Yes. Competing with you out of spite. But guess what, though? Ding dong, the witch is dead. Those coming up against you have lost their power to affect you in any way. So, like we saw in the, the sand, like I saw in the sand, we got projection too. 
they project their inner turmoil, trauma, and insecurities onto you. Like we saw in the sand, they were able to do things against you when you were young because you ain't know better. You you might have had to go through certain things to build up your own spiritual strength to become the spiritual warrior that you are today. To become the spiritual badass that you are today. And I'm hearing now they ain't effing with you. Not like they did in the past. They're not messing with you like they did in the past. Things have changed. This is a new day. You feel me? This is a brand new day day here so it doesn't matter who they get to help them it's not working their power does not work on you because you you transmute energy now you you have grown into uh energy transmuter so you're taking their energy and you're help you're using that energy that they send towards you you either sending it back to them or the excess energy you're using it to propel yourself forward to progress forward in life And I feel like that's something that this this aunt or whatever did not expect to happen from you, okay? This person is a karmic femme that always wants to play the victim. They want to sabotage people. The jealous, somebody who's jealousy prone, clingy, fake as hell. They play games, gossip, talking. Here they are right here thinking thoughts about you. I mean, who's that thinking nasty thought? They thinking bad thoughts about you. But this person is nothing like this is somebody from your past. Like you don't deal with this aunt. No, you don't really deal with this aunt. You might have known that she was trash. You might have known that this aunt was trash. Okay. You know that already, but I saw already that you are jumping right up over this mofo. Yes. If you need to know who it is, spirit telling you to look at all the things that happen in your life and look at who, look, look who acted to a certain way towards you within your quote unquote family. Okay. This person may have also cause uh, a love connection in your life or love connections in your life to not work out for you as well <sighs> but all that and any anything anything they blocked from you in the past they're no longer able to block that because you are now in a balanced more balanced and harmonious energy okay you're able to combat this energy you mean you're able to fight it off now it's not working with you no more. Like this, whatever they did is not is no longer working. When we get a ding dong and witch's dead card, that means that whatever is been coming up against you is no longer a threat. Okay. We got the man masculine energy. This feminine may have been the masculine energy. Very, very aggressive with a spiritual work. Very aggressive. Yeah. Very aggressive here. Yeah, you knew it all. You knew, you knew, you, you felt some kind of way about this person. Okay. You might've known from a child that you, you could, you knew it was something weird about this individual, weird about this aunt or this feminine, this feminine energy here. You know there's something weird going on with this person. They may have made some sort of deal, okay? Made some sort of demonic deal. Be careful of this person trying to come back into your life, okay? This is not somebody that you should trust. This person may send you some sort of message, okay? They may be going into some sort of poverty cycle as well, all right? Remember that this is your en this is your enemy, and this person is gonna try to visit you at your home, especially when you when you have some sort of victory, when you experience some sort of victory, this person may show up, or around the time uh, you are achieving some sort of victory, this person may try to pop back up. Okay, contacting you may want to visit your home. Be careful of who you're inviting into your house, because if you give this give these energies, these entities consent. 
you are saying that it's okay for them to come in there and bring that trash ass energy into your house so you have to be very very careful who you invite into your home okay i'm talking to somebody you do you out here saving lives you're a light worker you don't wish no bad on nobody you feel me you have a job to do out here you have a mission you're not with all this petty Oh, let me compete with my cousins. Let me compete with my uncle, my aunt. You not on that type of timing. You know what I mean? You vibing with your tribe as you should. You feel me? People of your same frequency as you should. Somebody hear you being advised to vibe with your tribe as you should be. And not trying to make things work with people who don't want to make that shit work with you. You want to know why they want to come around you every time you have some sort of victory? Because they want to siphon off of that energy. They want to see what you got going on. They want to be a big ass monitoring spirit. All quote unquote family ain't quote unquote family. Some people is just relatives. We got a lover here. Tell me about this lover. What's going on with this energy here? Past life karma. Secret admirer proposal. Yeah. Look what's coming in. Somebody you have some sort of you're working off some past life karma. Okay. With this individual. And it's opening up your love life. For somebody who this person was blocking your love life body. Trash ass energy. Okay. But now you are phasing past this energy. And now new people are coming into your life. New friends are coming into your life. New love options are coming into your life. It's like somehow your love is connected with abundance for somebody here. There's some sort of proposal that is coming in too. Your love is connected. Yeah, because you a mother, you, you a diamond out here. About to give me in my, you got about, ooh. Yo, you're a diamond here. You got a lot of hidden potential, okay? That people don't want to see you embody. That they don't want to see you express. You're very, very talented. You'll get that individual. You're very, very authentic, beautiful, handsome. You feel me? You got a lot of potential within yourself that this person knows about. You are here to influence a lot of people, right? You're a light worker, chosen one, star seed, empath, earth angel. Yes, you have those abilities. You have that gift within yourself. You are meant to change a lot of people's lives or help guide a lot of people towards love and light. You feel me? Harmony in their life. Soft life initiated. Comment that down below. If y'all are ready to go. Soft life initiated. RTG123 in the building, baby. Ipo. Yes. Yes. Why they running around in this black magic energy. Having altars and whatnot. You feel me? Yes. It's time for y'all to... Free the space and create the family that you know that you deserve instead of allowing fake ass relatives who come up against you to take up spaces that real friends, your real soul tribe, your real family can occupy. Yes, one two will not work against you. Y'all been activated right now. You coming into your power. That's why these hookers is not able to do what they was doing in you in the past because you're coming into power they're remembering how powerful you are who you are as an individual knowing the truth awakening yes you're woke now you feel me you're not sleep to uh what they, they can no longer hide behind these disguises okay hiding themselves you smiling in your face coming to your house breaking bread with you, eating with you at the table, y'all having family dinners and, and spending holidays together, but this person is plotting on you behind your back. It's the end to all of that. This, it, it's, it's over with, okay? I'm hearing that ain't happening no more. See what I'm talking about? Separation. Yeah, these witch, these dark witch figures, it's, it's separation time. It's done with. It's over with. They're not going to be able to siphon off you anymore. You want to know why? Because you put your... <laughs> I just heard you put your big ass foot down and told them no. Okay? 
and I'm saying that jokingly. Look at Awakening, because I wear a size. I wear a size 13. You feel me? Awakening here. You're awakening to all the things that have been going on around you. You're awakening to your own power, trusting your high, your, your higher self and your purpose. Trusting when you get a vibe about somebody, it don't matter if that's your auntie, your uncle, your whoever. If you're doing dirt towards, you're throwing dirt. You're throwing rocks at me. I'm going to see it. I'm going to accept it and take it for what it is. Everybody that calls you. Yeah, this person wanted you to have some sort of be going through grief. But see, they about to be shocked. Karma is coming back on them. Karma is coming back on them. And this person is going to be in grief. Yeah. I see a, 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 somebody here having a mental prison. Not to sound grim. Somebody in their casket. You feel me? Going six feet under. Stop with the foolishness. They're going to be in grief and shot in shock over what's happening. What's this energy that's coming back? Look at this. Because justice is being called on this situation. Yep. Your situation is transforming. This situation is transforming. And it's going to come to a surprise. For, it may come as a, as a, a surprise to you. And it may, it's going to come as a surprise to them. Because there's an unexpected twist that's, that's happening right now. A breakthrough that's happening right now. And guess what? Guess what the twist is? Ding dong, the witch is dead. However that shows up in your life. Yes. Because justice is being called here. They can no longer do whatever the hell that they were doing. Justice is being called. And you put your big ass foot down on their neck. And now they can't get up. You feel me? Yes. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to leave it right there. Keep doing the hard work that you're doing. Keep protecting yourself. Keep accepting people for who they are. Keep calling your energy back. When they try to take it, you call it back because, well, guess what? It's yours, okay? You have the right to be at peace. You have the right to be left alone. You have the right to create the family that you want to create in your life, right? You don't have to settle for toxicity. You don't have to settle for competition from none of these idiots. Keep standing in your power and keep moving forward in your life. Okay, that's what I got for y'all. Y'all take care of my slap. Love and loud. Catch y'all on the next one. Ciao. Mm -hmm.